hello again and welcome to another video on my channel so starting right off the bat i somehow managed to get myself an l11 suit from creditkeys.com and honestly i was super surprised i knew i wanted this board since the first round dropped and because i took a major l on the green suit when i went to go check out for the green suit i realized i didn't have a creditkeys account made so yeah that's pretty much an all it sold out fairly slow as well which kind of sucked but on March of this year, I know I had to grab a suit during the third round. Also, round 3 had pastels, and yeah, I'm a huge sucker for pastel colors. On the day of the drop, I would say I was about 80% ready, and to my surprise, I got the shop pay screen saying that my order was successful. I ended up going with the pink wing heels version of the suit, as I kinda wanted a pink board for some reason. There was a lilac version, but that wasn't speaking to me as well as pink did. But enough of the story, let's move on to the unboxing. So when I first opened the suit box, I was welcomed with the hot top PCB and the palm plate I ordered. I should have gone for more plates, but you know, I'm cheap and just wanted one plate and one PCB. Digging down further into the box was the Outlab Stabs Kit, extra accessories, and the keyboard itself. Probably in the near future, I'll end up grabbing some more extras like PCBs, plates, extra feet, and extra gaskets. Well. You never know, one day I might need them. So I can't lie to you when I say my breath is taken away, it literally was when I first unwrapped the board from the cloth, like, oof, look at that pink, and the quality is just superb, it's amazing. So the way it was painted was a good old powder coat. It does have a sort of rough feel when you touch it, and it kind of makes me worry every time I work near the board because I feel like I'll scratch or chip the paint. Kind of wish it was a smooth finish, but I'm not complaining, it's done very well. Also the weight is incredibly shiny, you could for sure use this as a mirror if your mirror ever broke. Alright, let me put everything back into the box, and let's move on to building the board itself. Here is everything that came with the kit, super super happy with it so far. So the suit is gasket mounted, and when you take it apart, there are three main components to the board. The top half, the middle piece, and the bottom half. So I opted for the ANSI hot swap PCB, and I was going to get the ISO solder PCB and mill max it, but I was kind of impatient and wanted to use the board as soon as I got it. The PCB has some flex cuts in it, and it should help if you want a bouncy typing experience, and plus it looks pretty nice as well.
So onto the stabilizer kit that came with the board. I'm glad it came with the kit because I didn't have an extra stabilizer kit laying around. This board supports a 7U spacebar, which is pretty cool because 7U is long and pretty cool looking on a board. It also came with stabilizer pads to help reduce the wobble when placed on a PCB. I wanted to try and mod these stabs as I'm pretty sure these don't have anything in them and plus having loop stabs is for sure a must in any keyboard. I'm also terrible at balancing and tweeting stabs so this was just to check if it was unbalanced and no it was pretty straight. And after that's all finished it's time to mount the stabilizers. So all the stabilizers are mounted. Also, you can see the flex cuts a bit closer in the shot. Placing the PE foam before you put the stabs on is a must because I forgot to do so and I had to go back and add it since the suit is known for the PE foam. As I said before, I ended up going with the palm plate as I've never tried Palm before and I was super curious as to how it sounded and felt like to type on. While building the PCB up with the plate, I got pretty lost and had to search a build video. I ended up watching Shubes' video to help myself with the building process so shout out to Shubes. If I didn't watch the video, my suit probably would have been broken by now. The suit has some pretty cool gaskets as these are gasket socks and are really easy to put on compared to the normal traditional gasket strips. So this is the plate mounted with the gasket socks on. You do have to put a switch in each corner so the plate doesn't fall off when trying to mount it to the top part later. Okay, so mounting the PCB and plate into the top mount was kind of confusing to me as I've never had a chance to work on something like soup before. So I had to refer to Shubes' video again. So shout out to Shubes yet again. So the middle part has a different thickness than the other side, so you'd have to pay attention which part you screw in, or else it's just not going to fit onto the top mount. With the PCB and plate screwed onto the top mount, I found that putting the keyboard back together was kinda sketchy since I didn't want to break anything or scratch a paint on the suit, but ultimately it went decent because I worked carefully and slowly.
So for the switches, as you can probably already tell from the last few shots, then I'm going to be using lubed JWK quartz in the suit, just because they're the closest thing I have to a pink switch. Plus, they sound and feel amazing lubed. For the keycaps, I'm going to use EBPT blank pink. I grabbed these off of someone in the Canadian Nut Market Discord, and honestly, it kind of was a no-brainer since the keyboard is pink, and I'm going for the overall pink look, just because I think pink looks clean on the suit. For the artisans, I didn't even know the suit came with its own artisan, so I was pretty hyped to see the chroma suit version in this package. The artisan has some heft to it, and it sounds amazing when pressed on. For the escape key and tilde key, I'm going to be using Philly Green's Wing Bear. It's a nice pink and it's going to go really well with the board. The details on Wing Bear are super nice and I highly recommend checking your page out on Instagram. And last but not least, the rubber feet. I only put these last because, honestly, I forgot about them inside the box. But here is the finished product, the Mr. Suit by Owl Labs. And uh, yeah, these are some pretty cool B-roll shots. We got that artisan there, which is pretty sweet and the pink keycaps and the wing bear but uh yeah if you guys are tired of hearing me talk here is the sound test
Honestly, just unboxing this suit makes you feel like you spent your money well, and I don't regret buying it at all. I'm very impressed with this board, and I'm very happy to add it to my collection. Owl Labs did their thing with this TKL, and I'm just happy to have been a part of the ride for the suit. But this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed hearing me talk semi without a script today, please drop a like and or subscribe if you really want. Thank you. I love y'all so much, and bye. 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 Thank you.